Hello and welcome back to What Time, the channel where the focus is always on the NVIDIA Shield. One of the most requested features in our Sideload Channel Launcher 2 group over on Facebook was widgets. Overwhelmingly widgets. People wanted widgets. So we put that to the dev and good news. Version 1.88 has been released today and with it comes a couple of new features. The main one being, of course, widgets. And you can configure up to 11 different weather widgets with the what we're going to show you today. Before we go any further, i really got to say thank you to the dev for listening to all our requests over the last six to eight months. We've put so many, he's introduced so many new features that we have asked for and uh, big pat on the back, thank you. So what's in this video? Well, we'll tell you what you will need, how to enable widgets and how to add a widget to your screen. Before we dive in, just a quick request from us. If you do enjoy the video, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Your support really is very much appreciated. No more preamble, let's get stuck in. What time? So to get widgets on your shield, you are going to need the following apps. The Sideload Channel Launcher 2 app, the Remote ADB Shell app, the Weather Live app and or the Weather app and also of course the NVIDIA Shield TV Remote app where while it's not essential it, it will help a lot in getting things configured and inputting details as we shall see in a moment. So if you've already got those apps on your Shield you can skip ahead to about this point on the video more or less. Our first stop is going to be the Google Play Store where we are going to go up to the search box at the top and we're going to here we're going to install the Sideload Channel Launcher 2 app and the Weather Live app and or the Weather app. Okay so we're going to do a search and we're going to search for Sideload Channel Launcher 2. There you can see it's the first option, first one that's highlighted side load channel launcher 2 with the big S okay go into there you will have to where I where it says open on mine you will have to install it if you haven't got it already okay let's go back out and now we're going to search for the weather live app weather live as you can see there are two weather live apps there it's the first one that you want. The second one is actually a paid one. So go into the first one, the one with the clouds and the sun in the background. And again, I've got open there. You will have install. Install that. That's a free app. After installing the Weather Live app, go across to the Weather app. And again, install that one. Click on that. And instead of open, you will have install. Install that. Now, I've recommended those two weather apps. There are other weather apps. However, I've tested a few and those are the only two that I've found that work with weather widgets with the uh, Sideload Channel Launcher 2. And to get remote ADB shell, you need to go to this address down here, https colon forward slash forward slash bit dot ly forward slash what remote ADB I'll put that in the description and the last tool that we're going to need is the NVIDIA Shield TV app so it's available for for Android and iOS and you can go to either of those two stores and download that to your phone so we'll go up and across to settings, go into settings and then come down to device preferences. In the about section click on there and come all the way down to the build number down there and we're going to click on this uh, seven or eight times. One, two, three, four and it tells you're now three steps away from being a developer. 
six, seven, and there we are, now a developer. We're going to come back out of there, and <clears throat> we'll go all the way down to developer options, and we're going to come down, come down until we get to debugging, and network debugging. We click on that to enable network debugging, and now we're ready to use the remote ADB shell program. So next step, we're going to go into our apps and we're going to open up the remote ADB shell. So, so new key pair generated, we say OK to that. At this point, we're going to input the IP address or host name. In this case, we're going to go one, two, seven. I'm using the remote control. It would actually be easier using the keyboard on the Shield app, um, but what I'll do is I'll use the Shield app for the next. Okay, so let's press the back button, come down and connect to that. Always allow that and come across and OK. We're going to we have three options here. We can either input using the remote and we have to put in this command that you see on the screen. Using the remote and inputting that is going to be tricky because it has to be exactly right, all the spaces in the right places. Another way is to use a keyboard, a physical keyboard, plug that into the uh, shield, keyboard and mouse. <laughs> it's also a possibility. Or you can copy the command using the Shield Remote app. You can copy the command from either the description of this video or from the linked web tutorial that goes along with this with this uh, video. Okay, so let's Let's change the view on this video and go full frame with no mask on. And we're going to now go to the Shield app and we're going to press on the keyboard button. And it says use the keyboard on your mobile device. I've already copied it on, on onto my device onto my from the article. I had a long press on there and paste it in and then enter boom if that had been incorrectly copied it would throw up an error okay so we've got widgets granted grant bind enabled we can now come out of there using the remote it's come right out of there right now comes the fun part we're going to swap profile to a different layout and we're going to configure some widgets, some fresh widgets into that. Those of you that are familiar with Sideload Channel Launcher 2 will already know that you can have multiple profiles, multiple layouts. Um, those of you that are new to it, new to this launcher, might uh, be surprised to, to know that you can configure as many as you want, basically. I've got about 100 on this shield. So I'm going to come down to the icon at the very bottom there in the middle, the person with the cog next to it. And I'm going to click on that and go to profiles, load a profile, and I'm going to load this particular profile up. And we're going to start by adding some adding some widgets, just probably above that line there of uh, tiles that I have with settings, tools, movies, Netflix, and TVs. So, right. So we click on that and open admin mode. Click on that. Now, what we're going to do is go navigate up to the plus sign. I've already got a, a row that's vacant there, all set up, ready to go. I'm going to click on the plus sign. We come down to widget, installed widget. And as you can see, there are a whole bunch of widgets to choose from. Now, the weather live app uh, gives us those particular 
it's on eight to ten breeders uh, widgets different shapes and sizes there's the round one which is quite a nice one so let's select that one and then we're going to be asked to input our location this time I'm going to use the mouse on a keyboard um, Logitech K400 and I'm going to just go up to the location click on there and then I'm going to click on there and I'm going to put in London for example and use the mouse to select London UK that's that done there's the preview of the widget click apply and there it is that'll pop. take a moment to pull in the information and I'm just going to put one more in with the plus sign and I'm going to come down to widget again installed widget this time I'm going to do a, a smaller one from the other app which is the weather app I'm just going to do a small one like that the weather, weather widget now I've already got my locations in there this one this app is a little bit nicer in that it rest it keeps all the locations in there so you don't have to keep selecting every time so if I using the mouse again I'm just going to select London again so there you have it two two widgets configured I'm now going to come back down to the bottom it's important to come out of this and close it off so we come down to that bottom icon again click on that and close admin mode and that's done we now have widgets on our home screen I'm just going to show you another layout that I've done with the multiple widgets on it just to, to show you the kind of widgets that you can choose from um, this one here uh, let's take an orange version of the same one got an orange one there with several widgets there um, the background does come through shows through a bit as well that's from the weather widget that's from a clock widget that's the weather live widget and I've also got uh, VPN widgets here I really ought to say at this point that it's uh, these widgets are quite experimental at the moment and whilst the um, weather widgets work fine they work great some of the others might be a little touch and go in terms of how they perform some will work when you click on them and some won't um, with the VPN one for example with the IP vanish one when you click on it it doesn't connect however if you use a mouse and get it in the right place it will turn it on okay so bear that in mind and have fun with it hi having recorded all the parts up to now and edited most of it into one file I've just realized that uh, I didn't mention something if you export a file export a uh, profile and try to load it on another shield you will find that the widgets won't work properly I won't go into the details why but uh, they won't work properly so in other words you will have to reconfigure the, the widgets when you install that profile onto a second shield right well that's about it for now there's a I'm just gonna leave you with a quick slideshow of some of the profiles the layouts that we've done uh, come and join us in the two facebook groups the main group and the subgroup which is 100 percent dedicated to the side ledger and launcher 2 uh, launcher lots of talented people there who can help you out give you advice on layouts help you improve your layouts we we'll look forward to seeing you there Hopefully this video has been useful to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what widgets you're going to be adding to your home screen. Thank you so much for being with us. Your support really does mean a lot to us. Thank you so much. We'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Doodle pip.